Um, Just cheers. Look at the shed. <laughs> so spicy. Is it spicy? <laughs> That's the best hot dog I've ever had. When that jet black life kicks in and it's so bright outside. Good morning everybody, Stephen and Jess here and we are in Berlin and it's the first day of our trip we need to go and try find as many local Berlin and German dishes that we can find. So we're calling this day one of Berlin, yesterday we did arrive but we literally just walked around like zombies and then we managed to stay away till 8 which I was proud about so hopefully we're like over the jet lag now. So the first thing we want to do is find an awesome coffee. We've heard all about this thing in Berlin called the third wave coffee. So what they say is the first wave of coffee is when coffee started becoming really accessible to everyone, it was easy to get. Then the second wave of coffee was when places like Starbucks and stuff came in and they started making coffee more of like a luxurious item. And then the third wave of coffee is the coffee that is happening at the moment where they are seeing coffee as more like a wine. So it has different tastes and flavors and stuff. So we're going to a place called Romas. I guess it's like what you'd say a hipster cafe and they have third wave coffee. That's very extra. Is that happening? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what have you ordered? Can you see? Yeah. It's black. What was it that you ordered? It's so good. It's so it's good. Like an iced latte. It's got charcoal in it, but you can't taste the charcoal. It just tastes like really good coffee. And there's little like coffee beans on top. It's really tripe. Yeah. It's so good. It's like the best iced latte I've had. Oh, that's super nice. Yeah. Try your special fruity filtered coffee. Yeah, it's cute. It's got the little leather strap. This is so nice. I've gone for it black so I can actually try like the, if we're doing the proper wine tasting style of coffee. That's so good. Is it? I mean, this is like what proper coffee is meant to taste like, not your standard Starbucks coffee, but wow. <laughs> That was such a cool little like hole in the wall cafe. I ended up getting like an activated charcoal ice latte. I'm really interested to actually find out what the activated charcoal does. That's hard word to say, activated charcoal. And I was worried it was gonna make my teeth all black, but it didn't. Cause like I see people brush their teeth with the charcoal and I was like, this is weird. Um, but it was really good. And then what do you think of your drip coffee? Yeah, so drip she said coffee. It was fruity. Yeah, it was super fruity and really nice. Had no milk. Generally with coffee I need a dash of milk, but that did not need it at all. They had amazing cakes and food there. So I recommend actually if you want to go to like brunch or like a coffee and cake date, rumors is it's really good. I'd totally recommend it. <laughs> We saw it was our train and we quickly jumped on. As we jumped on, the door closed. Jess is now off somewhere and I'm stuck at the train station. I lost you. <laughs> Hi, I'm two vegan currywurst. Yeah, three or four minutes. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Alright guys, for lunch we've decided to go and try and find a currywurst. Now a lot of Berlin people have told us to try it and they said it's one of those meals that normally you would eat it at the end of like a crazy night out and you're hungry and on the way home you go and grab a currywurst. And we've heard about this one called Curry 36 and they actually sell vegetarian options. And this is our currywurst. So it's a traditional sausage. There was yeah, a sausage and then they asked me if I wanted to get it cut up with sauce on top and eat it with a fork or if I wanted bread. 
And we've gone and for so the like, original curry 36 sauce on top yes, of it. I think it's, like it's just ketchup, ketchup hot dog so it's style. Like a hot dog, it's like such like a big, thick sausage. Yeah. All right. It's really good. Oh, what's going through that mind? It tastes like meat. I'm yeah. sorry, but it tastes like meat. Like, really? Whoa. And what's the sauce? Is it just ketchup? Mm. Oh my gosh, that is the best vegetarian sausage I've ever had. Really? Wow. And how's the bun? Is it that toasted? Is so good. Yeah, it's like soft, but also crunchy. And the sauce is really good. It's really ketchupy. So I don't know if it's like a curry sauce or not, because it's called curry worse, but it tastes just like ketchup. Oh, she's going for a second bite. It must be good. I can see what they say when this will be good for a night out meal. Oh yeah. Like in Australia, we do kebabs. The sauce is yummy. Are you sure you ordered the vegetarian? Yes. I told you. Oh my goodness. It's like the best veggie sausage ever. And the sauce. It's one of the It's best different. Ketchup. Yeah, it's like different ketchup. Hey, maybe it is oh, a curry ketchup. That is perfect though. That is like That's so the good best hot dog I've ever had. So this is like 250 euros, really cheap. It, there was a line, like we, people just always constantly there. Even at 8 a.m. this morning when we we're on the way to get coffee, there was a line. Wow. I, like, I don't know if I'm eating meat or not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds later. I need another one. All right, guys, it's a couple hours later. And the reason it is is because Berlin just got hit with this like massive freak storm. So it started pouring with rain, wind everywhere. So we went and hid in our hotel room, got our jackets. But now the sun's back out. But it went from 27 degrees down to 19 in a matter of two or three hours so weird but anyway the sun is back out so we've decided to come back out and explore and berlin is really known for its parks because mm. it's not really close to any or well, doesn't it doesn't have any ocean or sea around it so then people come on summer's day to the park so we decided to come to one called Tiergarten. i think that's how you say it i know i'm probably going to pronounce all the german words wrong you should have heard the way we were pronouncing the train <laughs> stations this morning i was like this is totally butchering the language we've heard that there's a really good beer garden here so we're going to go and have a little explore and try and find one but i find it so weird the moment you like step into the park you cannot hear the city anymore all you hear is the birds and like nature it doesn't feel like you're in like this major city anymore be proud we ordered a beer we never order beers but seeing as we're in germany at a beer garden we have to get a beer they had Mos moscow mule on the on the menu and stephen was like no jess you're getting a beer anyway she just gave us some blankies it's so weird today it was so hot and now it's so cold thank you so much you're welcome danke schön cheers danke schön is that how you say it are you all german now <laughs> that um, is we cute. probably shared <laughs> What? Wow. Well, Four euro. That's pretty cheap for a, I don't know, huge a drink. A of beer. Oh, that's a good description. It smells like beer. How's your first German beer experience? Oh, it's actually pretty good. Okay. It's not that bad. Yeah. But I think because it's light, she chose a good one for us. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is really nice. I know, Even it's like the... light. I hate to say it, even on a chilly summer's day here in Berlin, that is super nice. Way bigger than I was expecting. Oh, that is <laughs> <Thank> huge. You. <laughs> Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Hey, thank you. <laughs> we just wanted a bruschetta to go with the beer and... A bruschetta pizza. Whoa. That's massive. So, great afternoon snack. <laughs> um, I realized we're doing a food video, so we need to tell you guys what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, I was true. just about well, to devour it. This is just meant to be a small bruschetta pizza, but <laughs> look at the size. Wait, of they it. gave us oil. Are we meant to drizzle the oil on? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do an oil drizzle. You guys missed me before putting the pepper on the pizza. We missed out big time. Oh, I'll put the photos up. Whoa. Is this what we do? This pizza is too big. Whoa. This is not a snack that you just get. <laughs> It's the biggest thing ever. Mmm. bruschetta -y? It's super thin, so it's good to go for a snack with a beer. But it's not like your standard bruschetta, because it's more just like a pizza. It's more like a bruschetta pizza. With the bruschetta ingredients on it. Also, like, I know we're saying it horribly, it's bruschetta. 
is it? Muscata. So the beer garden we went to is just over there. I actually can't remember the name, so we'll just put up the name there if you want to come here. But we've come a little bit too late, I think because of the rain, but I recommend coming here at lunch, having lunch there, and then you can rent out a rowboat. I think it's six euros for half an hour, and then you can go and rowboat around the lake. But it's closed now, and I wish we could do it. Hopefully we can do it tomorrow or something, but how cool is that? It's closed because it's six o'clock at night, and, and look so how bright, bright it is. still. Way to a street food market and it's right next to the east side gallery so i was like oh yeah let's come down and check it out We're done here. We're going to France for some crepes. We got a crepe. You can you never, never go, go wrong. wrong with a crepe. Oh, <laughs> jinx. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed that food tour. If we missed anything, and I feel like we did, let us know below because we're in Germany for another week and we have another episode here in Berlin. If you're new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. It's a nice little start to it. We're going on a German road trip. We're on the Autobahn. Cars are coming past so fast. Hey,